Hey guys, welcome back for one hell of a Friday as we are about to dive into episode two of Hell of a Boss. I was kind of playing around with it, you know, cause we talked about Hell of a Weekends, Hell of a Fridays, I think in the initial two videos and the pilot in episode one. But then I was also thinking about, should we call it like, thank hell it's Fridays? I, I don't know, let me know how you guys feel about that. Now last week I posed the question of how many of these we are gonna do each week. After a lot of feedback and a lot of thinking, especially with how little episodes there are of this show, if we were to do two a week, three a week, whatever like that, we would just kind of cruise right through this and be out of episodes in really no time at all. So I really want to savor this. So we're going to be doing one episode a week. So I hope that's okay. I know a lot of people are going to get impatient with that. I really do love this world and I don't want to say goodbye to it so fast. You know, I, I know we got and I heard there's a new episode that is close to releasing, if not already having released by the time this episode comes out. I'm not exactly sure, but I did also have somebody mention that sometimes it takes weeks to months for a new episode to even come out. So we're going to be well caught up. I think even before the next episode releases for you guys. So there's pros and cons to both sides of the coin, but I just feel like that's kind of the, the comfortable sweet spot for me right now. So that's what we're gonna do and I hope that's okay. But guys, I'm excited to jump into this episode. I've been really itching to watch more of this show. As always guys, please go support the original creator and the original video. I'll have a link to that down in the description. If this is your first time checking that out, I'm sure you wanna watch it for yourselves without my commentary. Either way, I do hope you enjoy the reaction. If you do, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, if you're not already because it really helps these videos out and with that I'll send all the way let's go ahead and hop into episode two Lulu land here we go Mommy, Daddy. Mm, Vivio's calling us Stella uh, here you get up oh all right Vivio, what troubles you my owlet Oh, a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace and I couldn't find you anywhere. <laughs> there, there, Via. It's okay. You're okay. You know, I did forget for a minute that Stolas, you know, you has a family. <laughs> no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from the Starfire. Starfire. Oh, this song's beautiful. Wow. This imagery is beautiful. Goodness, man, that, that might be one of my favorite songs. You oh. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that was before. You are a goddamn embarrassment. 
I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! <laughs> Octavia, did you sleep Octavia. well? Octavia. Is that a serious question? Mm -hmm. What's that you listening to? This song is called My World is <laughs> Frozen Down. Rats. It's by Fuck You Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. Is it now? So you two done screaming for the day? You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. No. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything. To <laughs> there we go. <laughs> our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Oh, mm -hmm. Maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f me. What? Who can protect me? Us. <laughs> Being <laughs> Freudian slip there for a second. Is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, Blitz, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> 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 boss bitch. Uh. What? Why, hello, my big dick Blitzy. <laughs> what? Dad. Language, everyone. I have a special request. You're one to talk. Uh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Mm. He keeps breaking his fucking phones. Lululand? Jeez! <laughs> Mammon's Lululand. Aww. This is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy. Oh, apples! Is it Lulu like Lucifer? Dad, do we have to? Okay, right, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try to fuck. Oh, they're dressed like. Park, I swear to you, <laughs> like I'm fucking so special. Oh, what is it? I'm literally gonna be Secret sorry. Services. Mad Gap. Robo Fizz. That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. Does Lulu world have a sexy robot? <laughs> Changed a bit. Oh, look! It's big, lovely. That is <laughs> deep. Oh insane. my god! Come on, it's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me. Especially I find them relaxing. Well, hey there. I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lululand. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> look. Just try and sue us. Well. Hey, Little girly. Good I, God. I, 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 is it true this park is just a really shameless spin off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? Oh. 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 <laughs> like Disneyland and Disney <laughs> World. Check out the rides. That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even try to deny it. I love this place. My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Because it's Lulu Land. Listen to your home, Ox. <laughs> now, I take the first watch while you two have a little fun. Oh! I love looking at all the posters and stuff in the background, man. Oh my goodness. Like, I like, like, parading through a theme park more than I even enjoy the rides. 
a lot of the time. Hot and cold drunks. Stop that soul. You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. <laughs> to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What? I just said I'm not one, Prue. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. You used to cry such tears. Is a roly. Andy Dandies. Oh. Whoa. That kind of looks like that robot or a similar robot. <clears throat> As to what was in uh, Valentino's little crib. Not looking your uh <laughs> doesn't seem like you're in great condition, buddy. Oh my god, enemies <laughs> oh, oh, that little riff and spin on Charlie's song. That shit, but I also get sucked into it too. man, a real shame, I tell you. Another! I sing along with the Dude, I love that thing's aesthetic. Oh my god! Hey, he's doing a good job. <laughs> That's a good one. Killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo rip off of an overrated sell out jester. Oof. Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch. <laughs> Whoa. Boss fight. Jeez. <laughs> Baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. <laughs> Just in the background, man. Sir? Oh, hey, guys. You should probably go, uh, make sure skulls Oh, okay. whoa. Got some unfinished business to take care of. Ducks! Oh, what a mouth. Jesus. God damn it, Nathan! You ruined another bloody photo! Why were you even born? Octavia? Oh my god! Octavia! 
Oh, whoa. Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Ugh, that's better. Uh, where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Hmm. Oh. Octavia. I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. <laughs> you ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just... I felt... <laughs> she's always been... I haven't been... Ha <laughs> we weren't in... I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him? No. Leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. Oh, whoa. He didn't actually need protection, did he? So, what in like the world? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. <laughs> 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 God, that was a that was a great episode, dude. Holy shit. That was fun. Dude, both songs in this one were such bangers, dude. Especially that opener one. Like we went right into one, him consoling his daughter, the imagery, and, and the lyrics themselves, as well as the music accompanying all of it. It was just so sweet, ethereal, warming, exactly what you would need for a child in that moment, showing just how much things have changed from that point, from when she was little to the present day, and then just everything is falling apart. Oh. But I mean, that's just reality sometimes, man. I, I mean, I'm from a divorced family, so I like connect with this so, so deeply where you're seeing all of these cracks start to form and people just naturally drift apart. Or for all you know, you know, they never really fit together in the first place and they just tried to make it work or whatever a situational thing came into play and that that was the glue. Either way, it, it is a reality that that happens. And, but as a kid, like it's, it's hard to understand how you will eventually fit into that puzzle once everything starts to shift and break and snap and all this stuff. And, you know, I, I relate a lot to Octavia in this, in this way, you know, it was just kind of the same way as she was as a kid, you know, wholesome, innocent. I think all, most of us are, you know, there, then, then that transition and then everything else, you know, I definitely went through my <laughs> goth period. I don't know that I necessarily ever left it all together, but you know, that was just my thing. I retreated into my music. I, I, I retreated into my feelings. I retreated into my own little pocket. And we see a lot of that being reflected here with her, you know, being on the outside of all this drama happening with the fa in the family and not knowing what's going to happen, what's going to come next. It's just out in the open that Stolas is seeing Blitz or has a thing for imps. He's being called out 
by his wife and it's just yelling, 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 yelling. It seems to be a daily thing. It's a hard place to be in, especially when no matter what's going on, that you still have affection for both sides of the coin. It's maybe a little bit easier in one way or the other if you have a contentious relationship with one. I like that he's still trying to maintain that relationship, even if he is still trying to get distracted. And that's part of the problem too. He's very distracted. You know, seeing how she reacted to this outing, you know, he was able to kind of zero in and give her that attention she needed and not try to, not try to forcibly take things back to the way they were. It could be also be one of those situations because there's a couple of different ways I was reading it throughout there where he doesn't really know present her because of those very same distractions. And he doesn't really know what she's into today, but all he remembers is what she used to be into. She doesn't know what she cares about in the present. He, obviously, she's taking jabs at her parents. She's lashing out. There's a lot of these little moments where a lot of that's bubbling over. And I like the way that that kind of progressed throughout this. Obviously, on, on the side plot of all this, we have Millie and Moxie going through the park. She's coming in here, this this <laughs> knockoff Lulu world, as they said. I like the little world building nuggets and like especially all the details in the background, the posters for various things, uh, the propaganda, flyers for other organizations. It's just so much fun. You know, and then this this spin, like the apple motif, the duck motif, you know, for this n not Lucifer world or whatever, like all the copyright infringement dodging that they're doing to not get sued by Lulu World. I like that. Um, and it, it played into that song, too, with who was uh, what was the name of that uh, robot? It was uh, Fizzaroli. Yeah. Oh, that was Alex Brightman. OK. <laughs> I've heard that he uh, makes various appearances uh, in the show as different characters. Seeing them just kind of go at each other's throats got you know, it was a lot of fun. That song was a lot of fun. Obviously, playing into like the the animatronic performers tropes. You know, I grew up with a lot of those. For me, it was Billy Bob's and the Rock of uh, the Rock of Fire explosion crew but then uh you know it's just like the decrepit like decay nature of the of the animatronics even to the point where fizzaroli is even fritzing out even if they are the most pristine one in the bunch it was a nice little detail and then completely got fucked up in the fight with blitz as he was just tunnel visioned on that confrontation but it was a great little design and it reminded me of that little jester that we saw bringing drinks to Valentino? Or is that something else? Cause I saw some flyers for, for something I believe was different. Where was it? I think it was as they were leading into the tent. Yeah, RoboFizz personal companion things. So is that what those are? Or is that something else? But like a uh, commemorative version, a personal version of this, this entity, or is it something separate? And what were some of these flyers back here I wanted to look at? Not Lulu World. Stop sending complaints. Everyone is so mean to me. Yeah, there's a Mammon Ooh La La. Real. It's better than sex. Mad Gap Vodka. Stop asking. I'd never do that to my BFF Lucifer. <laughs> And it's just like a lot of fun little stuff. I tried to pay attention to the background in this one even more too. And it was, uh, I love the detail that goes into every, like almost every shot. It's got so much going on. And I just got so many questions about this world, these characters. Like seeing this side of Stolas was really fun. Seeing that fatherly, you know, persona come to life and this relationship that he's got with his daughter you know, coming away from that perspective that we've seen so far only between him and Blitz. It's nice to see more of these characters get more attention and get fleshed out. Like, honestly, in this episode, you know, our our crew, they kind of took a step back. They were secondary in this episode outside of Moxie and I'd say Millie for the most part. She loves going to this park. It's something her and her family used to do. Moxie has never been, doesn't really see the point at all, but he still tries to make her happy while they're still on the job. There was a lot of fun little wholesome elements in this one. But guys, that's another episode down. What did you guys think? What are your thoughts? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If it did, leave a like. 
drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to go to support the original video. I have a link down in the description for that. And before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrett, Ryan Karen, your course called Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hell, Jay Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.